More information about Michael Hastings. Michael Hastings, of course, the journalist from Rolling Stone who uh, died uh, in a car accident. There have been any number of conspiracy theories, including uh, as a result of uh, Michael Hastings saying that he had been uh, he was being pursued and or, or watched by the FBI for some work that he was doing, sending an email to that effect just hours before his his death. Any number of theories about his car was set up to explode. He was being followed by the FBI. It's not really an accident. Any number of things. We now have the autopsy report and the autopsy report indicates this was published in the Los Angeles Times yesterday that there was some uh, dr there, there were traces of drugs in Michael Hastings system, and that includes amphetamine as well as marijuana. However, the verdict from the coroner is that Hastings death was an accident, was an accident, and that the drugs were not a factor in that accident. So this is interesting for a couple of reasons. Number one, there's a lot of reporting about the fact that he had drugs in his system, even though the report is that the drugs were not a factor. Some people taking issue with that. I got a couple of emails from individuals. If you look at the comments on a lot of articles, including the Los Angeles Times article reporting on this, you'll see comments to that effect. At the same time, uh, his wife, who we can assume knew him best, knew that he had relapsed into drugs, accepts that this is now a tragic accident and that that is it. So Lewis, at this point, are you satisfied that there was no conspiracy to to murder Michael Hastings? Or do you think that even his wife's claim that she believes it was an accident is part of the conspiracy, as some do? No, I don't subscribe to that. I initially initially thought that this was probably an accident. But I mean, one could argue that intimidation and pressure made him start taking these drugs again. And uh, and that's what led to it. So. It very well could it could have been what he was doing and his work and outside forces that that led him to do those drugs and led him to be in the state he was in. So question to the audience, question to our viewers or listeners on radio, podcasts, free speech TV, wherever it is that you watch YouTube, do the two new bits of information, Michael Hastings widow saying she believes it was simply an accident and the report from the coroner, do these two bits of data change your view? about the, the truth about Michael Hastings death or are your views unchanged? Let me know. Voicemail 219 to David P or email us.